Yo, everybody, this is Masaki again here um, of the Sin Alliance coming to you at, from State 483. So today we're going to be going over um, how to set up troop formations and why does troop and leaders and skills and all those pieces matter, right? So this is really a great uh, guide for those people who are still wondering why certain people like leaders will tell you send Eva or Sarge as your leaders for when you join a rally and trap or send maybe Ghost or Tesla as your leader for when you're sending for like, a, you know, a capital clash or bunkers or fortress fights, etc. Right. So the first thing we kind of want to talk about is, um, you know, with all the heroes, you, you first want to understand every single hero has skills. Right. So, for example, let's say look, take a look at Maddie. Right? Maddie is a great hero because if you click over to stats and click over to military, um, these are the benefits that matter when Maddie is being used as one of the generals to, let's say, lead a rally or attack. Right. What does that mean? So obviously the first stat here, March capacity, adds just more to your total march. It, you know, having Maddie in the group will give you a little bit more march, and every hero will have their own separate number, right? So usually it, it correlates with your rank. The second things that matters is usually every one of these heroes will boost their own respective uh, troop type. Maddie boosts riders, attack and defense, pretty standard stuff, right? The third thing, these are unique for all the heroes, for example, things like settlement troop attack. Because Maddie has this skill, she's actually really great for defense because this means in a settlement, right, her troops will attack for a little bit more damage than other heroes. So you do want to use her for defense. And also the, la the fourth skill here, you see rally troop attack, 15%. Um, this means that if she is the rally lead, right? So inside a rally for a rally lead, she will add 15% um, more to the actual rally for attack. The rest of the stuff, rider health and lethality, that's just, again, more boosts for the actual riders class, okay? What we're gonna talk about mostly is these skills over here. You see Maddie has three skills, pipe bomb, um, girl's best friend, that's Frank, and then of course bio dart each one of them boosts the military in some form most of these skills in this game are kind of worthless so right off the bat you can see the best skill that maddie has is girl's best friend because it increases troop damage by 25 percent the rest of the stuff doesn't really matter there are some things that maybe trigger on special things like 18 percent chance to deal critical damage right or 20 percent chance to do something most of these things don't matter okay so what happens inside a rally? So I'm going to throw up a rally right now so I can show you what happens, okay? So let's say I'm just going to rally this fiend. I've actually talked to my alliance, so they're going to join the rally um, and then show you what happens. So let's say I have a pre-existing march, right? So whatever that is, I'm going to march this fiend, okay? Uh, and let me go ask everyone to join up. Okay, so people are going to start joining the rally and I'll show you what happens. So the first thing you would notice is that there's something called rally benefits, right? So if you click this rally benefit, you're gonna see, for example, how many troops in the rally, how many total capacity, right? Some of these leader benefits are basically what I'm adding because I'm the rally leader to the actual entire rally. So everybody gets these buffs. And these are these buffs are total between my heroes, my hero gears, my chief gear, my chief badges. Everything kind of adds up and tallies over here, okay? The first thing you'll notice is that rally leaders, all nine skills, three per hero, will all be active. So you can see all nine of my skills are active. What you also see is this rally member section here. This is what, what we're talking about when we say um, send the right troops. As an example, Galahad here, right? He sent uh, Sarge as his leader. What that's going to do for the rally is it's, he's going to add 25% troop damage to the rally. Okay, <clears throat> Noe sent Maddie as the leader, and so Maddie's going to use her first skill, which is just the pipe bomb, which does some something, but it's pretty much dismissible. It's not really that useful, right? And so here's how you kind of can tell. So when you look at your entire rally, um, the first hero skills, right? So Maddie, Sarge, Maddie, these will add directly to the actual rally, right? So whatever hero you put as first, that's your leader. And that leader's first skill is what actually adds to the rally. In addition, only four skills will actually be added to the rally. So so more than four, it doesn't matter. As for example, um, Daisy sent Jeb in here, but I'm pretty sure Jeb's skill doesn't even show up on this rally here. Yeah, oh, it does show, actually show up. So the way that this does uh, work is that it um, the game does calculate the top four heroes. It doesn't count things like damage, um, but it does try to do things like, okay, who's going to, um, for example, have the highest skill 
level. So whenever rally leaders say, hey, join my rally, put Sarge in there, that's what they're saying because Sarge is gonna add 25%. So between Galahad and uh, Jobitz here, we're gonna have 50% extra damage. Daisy by sending um, Jeb really is just giving us some 30% damage gain. It's not really anything. It's pretty, you know, you can, you can by and large ignore it. Same thing with Noe's here, right? So in general, when you join a rally, you do want to send heroes like Sarge or Eva, for example, if we need more attack. Um, because if you look at Eva's first skill, uh, I'll show you in a sec, um, it's actually really great. Because Eva's first skill is just like Sarge, adds damage. Uh, let me go over to actually the military side, right? So it does 25% damage add. But here's the thing. Eva, if you are sending as a rally leader, has a second skill called Widow Bite. This increases her trap effect, which is her first skill, by 124%. So this actually boosts this skill by quite a bit. So that's why Eva is a great uh, rally leader um, when you send for extra attacks, right? So let's talk a little bit about why we send Tesla for, for example, things like PvP and why we send Eva for PvE. So in PvE, you do want to stack as much troop damage as possible. That's just, again, you do more damage, you do more, you kill more zombies, and usually you get a higher score. What do I mean by PvE? Mostly trap, right? So when you run trap with for your alliance, you do want to send Eva or Sarge as your, um, when you join rally, as the, the rally heroes. If you are leading a rally, it doesn't matter, use your best three. So what I always do is I use Eva, Maddie, and um, Eva, Maddie, and uh, probably Nicola for the best troop boosts, right? Now, why do we send Ghost or Nicola for um, when we do things like Capital Clash or bun Bunkers? The reason's because if you look in Nicola's um, first skill, this boosts troop health by 25%. This is really great because what this will do is it will allow your troops to live longer. And the longer your troops will live, the more damage you can soak, the higher chance you're gonna actually win a fight, you know, when you're trying to fight for bunker, that kind of things, right? Similarly for Ghost down here, he also has that same buff, right? So for the, the, the folks that don't have Nicola, like maxed out or have good stats on him, just use Ghost, right? It's really easy to get him max level, you know, 100% boost, it's not bad. But really the key is when you join Rally and you use Ghost as your hero, as your leader, you're gonna get 25% health added to the team. Now for some of these um, you know, pay players, right? So what most of what I've gone over is for people who can uh, you know, obtain these heroes through free, free to play. But for pay players, um, Lucky as an example is a really great uh, Rally joiner as well. And the reason is because her bear gives the whole troop damage uh, reduction. And this is in a similar way as um, troop health, because basically, you know, reducing damage is the same as giving the troops more health. So that's why you do this, okay? <clears throat> Again, but this is more for uh, pay players because very likely you don't have enough frags for Lucky if you didn't pay for her, right? Um, so the last thing I wanna show you is just when you do, let's say a join or something like that, how do you actually set the leader? So for example, let's say I'm attacking the zombie and it's gonna automatically use Maddie, right? Because Maddie always, almost always has the highest like uh, battle points. However, all you have to do to set leaders do this, remove everybody, set your Sarge as the squad leader, right? So I can get that first skill, and then just take the recommendation, Maddie and Chef, probably good enough. And right here, <clears throat> this team looks just like the team that they recommended. However, it is a much, much better team because you're using Sarge as leader and giving the rally 25% damage boost rather than using Maddie and basically giving the, the rally nothing. Cool, so that's just today's video. Hopefully you learned something about how to do rallies. And um, remember, for PvE events, fighting zombies, right, doing those kind of things, um, utilize Sarge or Eva as your rally joiner. And if you're a rally lead for PvE, just send your best heroes. And for PvP, um, again, if you're rally leading, send your best heroes. But if you're joining, try to send Nicola or, or Ghost or any pretty much anything that either reduces damage as the first skill or um, increases troop health. So currently in our state, state it's going to be Nicola or Ghost that are your best choices. All right, thanks, and uh, I'll see you next time.